The main direction of America's policies could soon see a major turn. According to polls, the Democratic Party is set to lose its Congress majority in Tuesday's midterm elections. This would make it even harder for Democratic President Barack Obama to get backing for his initiatives. His popularity is already plummeting as voter disillusionment grows over the president's failure to deliver on his promises. I've come here to Cairo to seek a new beginning between the United States and Muslims around the world. His pledge to restore relations with the Middle East has resulted in a string of bombing campaigns all across the region, including a new military operation in Iraq and airstrikes in war-torn Syria. And in matters closer to home, President Obama has also missed the mark. Because of the measures that we've put in place, as well as our world-class health system, the chances of an Ebola outbreak in the United States uh, is extremely low. Two days after he gave his reassurances, the first U.S. Ebola patient died. In total, four people contracted the disease inside the country. The measures cited by Obama were also slammed by medics and officials as insufficient. The president has also come under fire for his passion for golf, mainly because of when he decides to head onto the Greens. Obama played just a day after Islamic State beheaded an American journalist. And then he played just after the second case of Ebola was confirmed in the U.S. And it didn't go unnoticed by the Twitter community. One user remarked, the Islamists wouldn't get the president's attention by beheading Americans, but rather by hiding his golf clubs. Another post framed as a letter from Obama says Islamic State is going down the black hole of history, just like a golf ball into the cup. And another Twitter user wondered why no one in the Obama administration advised him not to play golf on those occasions. The president's failure to deliver on his promises as well as some other mishaps are proving poisonous to the popularity of his own party ahead of the polls. At least that's the opinion of some of his fellow Democrats who are now trying to distance themselves from their own party leader. Rena Portnoy takes up the story. The most powerful man in America is generally used to getting stonewalled by the opposing team. Hold on a minute. But on the cusp of the midterm elections... Barack Obama's approval ratings are low and many Democratic candidates around the country in close races have asked him to stay home. Six years into his presidency, Obama is getting the cold shoulder from many members of his own party, which risks losing control of the Senate on Tuesday. Polls show more than half of Americans disapprove of the president's job performance and nearly 70 percent are angry with the direction the country is moving, particularly when it comes to the economy. 62 percent of the country say the current economic climate is somewhat poor or very poor. During a few rare appearances on the campaign trail to support candidates... Barely a third of the way through the president's remarks, people in the crowd, surprisingly, started filing out. First in Maryland... Don't let anybody stand in your way! Then in Wisconsin, two states away in Kentucky... Did you vote for President Obama, 2008-2012? You know, this election uh, it isn't about the president. A Democratic Senate candidate repeatedly refused to acknowledge that she voted for the leader of her own party. Did you and vote for him? I, I was actually in a way a delegate for Hillary Clinton, and I, I think that Kentuckians know I'm a Clinton Democrat uh, through and through. So you're not going to answer? Again, I don't think that the, the president is on the ballot. But even some of Obama's fiercest critics say Democrats are ultimately damaging their own party by painting the president as toxic. They're spineless. And so uh, I can see them running from Obama instead of rallying the troops. They're all running away from him, which uh, to me, if you're a Democrat, he's a Democrat. How do you do that? You know, but it, sh it shows no loyalty, does it? But in politics, victory trumps loyalty. And while Democrats have been distancing themselves from the president's foreign and domestic policies, comedians have been embracing Obama's multiple missteps. Another American, this time a doctor in New York, was diagnosed with Ebola. Now, some people want to criticize the way our administration has handled this crisis. And it's true, we made a few mistakes early on, but I assure you, it was nowhere near as bad as how we handled the ISIS situation. <laughs> I mean, our various Secret Service mishaps or the scandals of the IRS and the NSA. And I don't know if you guys remember, but the Obamacare website had some pretty serious problems too. <laughs> In fact, 
If you look at all the stuff that's happened my second term, this whole Ebola thing is probably one of my greatest accomplishments. Even the guy who used to spin Obama's accomplishments for a living concedes that the president's party should prepare for defeat. Democrats uh, are, as we've talked about before, uh, going to have a, a bad election day. And possibly a tarnished image for a party that once rallied behind a man with a message of hope and change. Marina Portnaya, RT, Washington, D.C. Political activist Medea Benjamin thinks that many are growing increasingly disappointed with the system itself rather than any particular party. There is a widespread disillusionment among the American people with the two-party uh, system. The Democrats and the Republicans have been fighting so much. It's seen by the population as ineffective. And so people wonder, why should I vote? Will it really matter? Within this two-party system, most of the seats are not even contested. I think a number of Democrats, though, in those contested elections will lose because uh, the president is not very popular uh, because the uh, voter uh, turnout will be particularly low, and that is bad for the Democrats. And you can stay with us for the full coverage of the midterm election. We will be closely following the poll that could become a game changer for Democrats and for President Obama.